Right, good afternoon and welcome back to another vlog here on Coast Crazy YouTube channel. Yes, yeah, something a bit different today, you've seen the title. I'm at uh, Digcot, um, I've come to visit the Digcot Railway Centre and sort of the main reason for this is I got invited. Um, I don't actually know if it's an official invite. It was just an email I got yesterday. I thought, I've always wanted to come here. I actually worked in Digcot um, not that far away for, for a good year or so when, I, when we sort of lived near Milton Keynes. And I knew it was here and it's quite a famous um, sort of railway museum, steam railway. I thought I'd come down and have a look. It's a really nice day today. Not too hot, thank God. But it is like 22 degrees it's currently uh, 10 past two i don't know what time it's open till but we'll go and have a look so i think the actual railway museum is actually over the other side of the the main um railway here which is the gwr line and um, yeah i think you go in here and i think you walk over to the other side yeah entrance through the station so yeah that's uh Let's go and have a look, see what we can find. Yeah, I like these sort of not knowing what to experience sort of days out really. So uh, yeah, let's go and have a look. So yeah, I don't know if you have to pay for a ticket to get through, but Digcock Railway Centre is, is through that way. Right, so I'm in. I'm just going to have to obviously follow the signs for Digcock Railway Centre. So yeah, you, you you get let through basically, so there was no charge to come through. I don't know if I can uh, jump on a train and go wherever I want now, but uh, yeah, let's uh, go and have a look. I, I think it's down here. Yeah, it is. I can see the sign for it there. Yeah, lovely day today, very nice. And there is actually a Hatwells fair on in Digcock as well while I'm here, so I might go and check that out. And there's also a small fair on in Marlow as well, um, near where I live. So yeah, I don't know what to expect. I've, I've been told and been asked to come here a few times. Come and check it out. I do like um, steam trains, vintage stuff, heritage stuff. So yeah, it's just a, it's a nice day out, isn't it? But as I'm recording this, Currently, I still have five or six vlogs still to come from the Netherlands trip. Um, yeah, so those will be coming shortly. Wow, I don't even know. I think you get on this train here. So I'll go and have a look at the ticket office. There's no actual prices for it there or over there. Um, so yeah, welcome to Digcock Railway Centre, home of the Great Western Society. So engine sheds, uh, workshops, got the turntable, the signal boxes, carriage displays. The centre is over half a mile long. Wow. So I hope me three hours is uh, long enough for the car park, which is what I paid for across the road. It was £3 for three hours. We've got a beautiful steam train there. So I think you get on there and then that actually takes you to the centre. I don't know, I'll go and ask, I'll find out. Right, so I'm in. Um, yeah, basically I got an email from a guy called Clive. Uh, the woman just there just said, oh, we might not be in today, but if I go down and speak to a guard or someone in the shop, they'll uh, let me know what the crack is. But uh, yeah, she's given me a map and said I need to go across the tracks here and then walk down the concrete path. But it's absolutely massive, like I said, it's half a mile long, so we're, so what, well, we're, I'm here, uh, and you've got all of this, so there's a lot to see, yeah, oh god, there's loads of stuff, so yeah, there's the gift shop and stuff down here, so she said, cross the line, and I've got to go over to the other side, um, yeah, so it's just, just down here, I think, oh, a beautiful steam train over here, so there's uh, rides and all sorts of stuff to go on. Not actual rides, but steam train rides, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a gorgeous day today. Really nice. This is what I sort of like. You know, I, I do sort of tend to moan about the heat a lot. 
but as long as there's a bit of a breeze and it's not too hot i don't mind it it's it's it's, it's quite nice today but uh, i'm guessing i'll be walking quite a bit today <laughs> well just a few hours that i'm here hoping to probably do quite a few of these open air museums there's obviously Beamish as well. I've not been there since I was a kid. I used to go there quite often um, with school and my parents and stuff like that. So I wouldn't mind doing that one. Black Country Museum we've done. I think there's a few more of that type of museum. I think dogs are allowed here as well, from what I can gather. Someone did actually message me and said, oh, you can take dogs to Digcot. So uh, yeah, but I'm on my own today. Awesome. Let's go and have a look. It's a nice collection of old steam trains and wagons. There's a, an old railway crane there in the middle. But uh, yeah, looking at the map, according to this, it seems like everything closes at about four o'clock. So I've got a couple of hours at least. And there is a train ride uh, down there to go on as well. But yeah, I wouldn't um, bring your best trainers to come here. <laughs> Let's just keep to the concrete path when you can. Um, as, as, as a charge to get in here, I, I don't really know. I think um, I think the woman just let me in, really. But uh, I'm sure I'll buy a drink while I'm here. Some uh, refreshments, a snack or something. Oh my god, it's massive! It goes all the way down there. I do like my uh, diesel locos. It's nice that. So there's the inquiries there. Toilets and stuff just here. Yeah, just probably just have a walk around. But yeah, if you're interested in stuff like this, come and check it out. That's basically what I'm here for. Uh, to show you what's here if you're interested to come and have a look at the steam trains. I think you can go in the sheds and and whatnot. Wow. Lady of legend. Very nice. So it's uh, run by volunteers and stuff. A lot of these museums are. So it's like they're doing some restoration work in here. Oh my god, look at the size of this. Wow. It's massive. Look at the size of that train. King Edward II. Oh my god, this is massive. Imagine oh imagine being alive in the day when these were all sort of running around the UK. It would have been amazing. Yeah, stories of people hanging over bridges as the steam train comes past and they get covered in soot. <laughs> you got like a thing up there, I think it's a, yeah it's like a chimney isn't it, see the uh, wooden box at the top so if they're running the trains in here all the smoke uh, or the steam goes through them vents I can hear the other big steam train coming down, oh there's loads of stuff in here, oh I mean like this uh, schematics on the walls to read and look at Oh wow, there you are. It's of, uh, this uh, class, Saint class number 2099 Lady of Legend uh, was rebuilt. Yeah, it's just all well, the names of the people who were involved with it. I think you can go in these rooms and things, and it says mechanics on there. Oh, they're awesome. Huge, huge shed. Ooh, choo -choo. <laughs> yeah, there's a board of telling you what's in here. Cool. Right, let's go back outside. All right, so let's go this way because it says. Locomotive workshops, turntable and picnic area down there. Oh my god, look at the size of this crane. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they don't build them like they used to. Oh my god. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, 
bit of graffiti on the side. Look at the state of that. Wow. Like the dedication that goes into um, rebuilding some of this stuff is, is, you know, it's incredible. That was a picnic area down there. Yeah, I'm going to have to get on that steam train for a ride. I don't know how far down it goes, but yeah, some distance. Oh, there's a Caledonian sleeper tr uh, carriage here. This one here. Looks like you could go in them at some point. Let's go down here. Let's see what's down here. This place is huge. So, as you can see, there's the picnic area. And there's your uh, old turntable, which you can walk across. So we'll do that. Yeah, so also some good news as well. I've booked tickets to Florida uh, going in September. Uh, Martin and Charlotte are already going for two weeks, and I was only going to go out for a week anyway. Um, I just, I, I just basically want to go for the credits. <laughs> there's like there's like ten new coasters and for me to go on and it's quite a few new rides. I mean, every time you go back to Florida, there's always something new. But I, I didn't really want to go for the whole two weeks. So yeah, just going for a week to Florida in September. So uh, yeah, can't wait for that. Yeah, old turntable. I don't know if this is still used. I mean, it doesn't even look like it'll be operational to be honest. There's a winch and a crank over there, so... I don't know, maybe... Ooh. Wow, there's loads of stuff here. Oh! Oh, I can hear another train coming. And there's another one just over there as well. So I don't know where that one goes. Let's get over here quick, see the train coming back. Unless it's going back down the other way. Wow. Yeah, here it comes. Leg it! Leg it! Oh, my shorts are falling down! <laughs> oh my god! The sound! Whoa. Oh yeah! Oh, amazing! Yeah, so that train that we saw at the start was down there, and I think it only goes to there's a platform over there. Whoa! Cross country! See how quiet that one is compared to the steam train. My god, wow. I'll have to catch that a few times and obviously try and get on it as well. There's another steam train over there going down. Wow, awesome. Yeah, this place is huge. I've just come across another shed here, the Vintage Carriage Bay. Let's go and have a look in here. As you can see, you can see the, <laughs> the back end of it. It's, it's massive, isn't it? Just go on this scaffolding platform. Wow. These are steep. There's another bay down here as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, Florida. Especially to get on the uh, Velocity Coaster, Rise of the Resistance. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy coaster. There's there's loads. Like I said, there's about ten. There's about ten credits for me to get on when we go. Looking forward to it. 
I have booked the two weeks off, so when I get back, I might might do Alton Towers and things like that because I'll be up into the Halloween season then. There's a workshop. Yeah, I'm all being restored just here on the right hand side. To passenger station that way. Let's go and have a look. So, yeah, I think this is where the um, steam train at the other end uh, comes to. But look at this, I just noticed this here some groundwork, all the steel rebar and stuff in here. So, the putting something in here which is going to be this a Hayford station building uh, we are um, re-erecting the station building from Hayford in Oxfordshire wow so I think they've taken one down and then they're recreating it here that's crazy that yeah amazing there's one of the trains going yeah so I think there's two rides here um, yeah, there's only the one carriage for that one, just a little one there, a little Trojan. That's about uh, Thomas the Tank Engine, doesn't it? So yeah, this is uh, this is pretty cool to see all this steel work going in here. And then obviously once they've got the, the base done, and then they'll fill that up with concrete. Uh, pretty much the whole thing will be filled with concrete, and then they just recreate the old building that they've got there. That's, that's amazing. Um, Wow, yeah, that old station opened in 1850. Oh my god, wow, that's crazy. That's pretty much what I do on building sites, really. Well, I don't do the steel work, but all the rebar and stuff as, as a crane dryer, I'll pick that up and drop it into place, and then I'll pick a concrete scoop, fill it up with uh, concrete. It's all done by volunteers. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the end of the line. So I think this is the end of the actual museum. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? I'll be building a new station. Yeah, the end of the line is, is just here. So I don't know what's past this bit, but I'll go and have a look. Oh, here it comes. Have the uh, big train coming back. So I'll get on this, I'll go back to the other side and then I'll have, a, I'll have a walk around and see what else there is, see if there's anything I've missed out. Which um, I don't know if I am or not. Yeah, we're at Oxford Road. So there might be some stuff down here. Oh, here it comes now. Right, so I'm in the carriage, first class as well. Let's go and have a look. See if we can find. There's a lavatory here. It's engaged. Oh, that's not good. I'm busting for a number two. <laughs> not really. There we go, I think my carriage will be this one because there was only a couple of spare ones. It's crazy to think like the, the actual line work, uh, especially just the Great Western Railway, it's, there's so much of it. <laughs> it really is, yet some countries in the world haven't got any railway connections. I mean, for instance, Florida, as I'm speaking about it before, Florida's hasn't got really much of a railway connection really to be honest I think they're still building one I think they've got some sort of thing in place but they're hoping to build a um, like a brand new railway connection from Orlando Airport to the Disney parks I think it goes up and then from like Miami and then up and then across I'm pretty sure of it I saw something about it yeah I'll stick my handle on when we get going so I can 
get some wide shots. I don't don't know what time it sets off. I've just been told just when the guard's ready, really. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, yeah, so there's all these down here as well. Very short ride, but what a great experience. Come down to Digcock, come and check this out. There you go. <laughs> How long was that? Two minutes. Not bad. Yeah, not bad just a two minute ride but i'm pretty sure you could stay on it as long as you want you can go back and yeah go on loads of rides let's have a look at the uh the loco Cool that isn't it? <laughs> wow. Is that my thumbnail? I guess so. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, what an awesome experience. Right, so I've got to walk down back uh, the concrete path see what I've missed um, maybe get a drink or something like that but no it's, it's, it's pretty good for what it is and uh, I highly recommend coming and visiting especially if you're into steam trains and heritage and things like that but it's pretty cool there's like so much space here for the for the actual railway you got a train over there you got a couple of diesel locos over there as well yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool it's all right. Just have to get way out, out of the way of this guy here. Yeah, awesome. Go get a drink, I think. So I've just come across this old carriage here selling memorabilia, books, lamps, relics, models and pictures. Let's, uh, let's go and have a look. Let's see what they've got in here. Ooh, oh, I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was a miniature railway. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm not like the biggest railway geek to be honest, but I do like miniature railways and things like that. My God, look at all these books. It's insane, isn't it? All the DVDs and stuff here, all the magazines. 
pictures. I've just seen this sign here, air raid shelter, and I've heard some bangings and noises coming from this area down here. Wow, well, I don't know if it's an original air raid shelter or one that they've built. Wow. While a very large number of people honoured to them all proved that London could take it and so could our other rabid centre. In July, August and September 1940, uh, 40 or 50 squadrons of uh, British fighter aircraft. Yeah, it's pretty cool here. Um, when I leave, I'll, I will try and find the, uh, the prices uh, for coming in here, um, but I will be linking the descriptions and the, 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 the links for this place down below, so go and check it out. So you like the uh, shop here. Ooh, very nice. Old fashioned shop. Ooh, looks like they're doing some filming. Oh no, it's a control Batson. <laughs> control Batson. Oh, your Thomas stuff in here as well. Like your generic um, stuff. Fridge magnets if you collect them. Right, they've also got a museum and archive here as well. Yeah, I just had a Diet Coke, sat down for 10 minutes. All these old signs in here. It's probably the silverware that we would use in the first class. Carriages and catering. Some of these were displayed in the 1920s or used in the 1920s, should I say? Yes. I don't think we need to go far to honest because. Oh, look at that. It's a cool map. The old toys in there. Wow, oh, home train sets. Right, so I'm in the signalling centre now. It's quite a small section, this bit, but it's, it's quite modern. It looks like they've did this up quite a well, not that long ago, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, there's some interactives in here. There's like a light you can change uh, just here by pressing the button. Um, there's like the big um, panel on the side of the wall. You've got the old Swindon paddle panel box in here as well, which is uh, really old. Yeah, if you're reading on the sign, it opened in 1968 and closed in uh, 2016. So yeah, there's that to see as well. Oh yeah, it's quite nice in here. There's air conditioning as well, which is really nice. Some signals and things to torch. You can move all the things. Uh, like that. 
<laughs> Pull the levers. Oh, oh, oh. There you go, that does that. And then. Don't know what that one does. Oh. Guess you push that back to there. That's cool. Yeah, signalling centre. So yeah, I don't know when this bit opened up, but it looks all right in here. All right, so I don't think I'm going to be here much longer. Um, I'm going to find that other small steam train, which I think is down here somewhere. And then I'm going, but uh, yeah, there's, there's loads to see here. There's like loads of stuff to read. And yeah, you could, you could be a, a good half a day easily. Or if you came sort of like early afternoon, you, you would be here for the rest of the day. Like it closes at four, so I haven't actually got that long to go now. This is that other steam train down here. So I don't know if they've got to send it. But yeah, like I said, after here, I'll probably nip to the uh, Hatwell's Fair. I'll just send all the posters for it. This is in Dig Cot. Oh, they're about to send it. Uh, I'm gonna have to sit and wait for the next one to come. But yeah, it's a big place here. There's, like I said, there's loads of stuff to see. Um, we have so many heritage railways like this in the UK. There's there's loads. There's one in um, was in Buckinghamshire. Pretty sure of it. Um, that one was pretty good. Ah, oh, they're about to send it. I'll sit and wait for it to come back. Once I can get the footage. Off it goes. Oh well, I think I've missed this train because it's just gone down there on its own without the carriage. Oh great. <laughs> well that's a bit of a fail, isn't it? Yeah, well anyway, I think I'm I think I'm done here. But yeah, again, thank you for the uh for the invite for for coming down and uh, checking this place out. Like I said, I've wanted to come anyway for quite a while. Just to have a wander around, just see what's here really. But uh, yeah, it's very nice. Uh, like I said, I am going off to probably check out the uh Hatwells Fair in Digcot next, which I don't know where it is, but I'll check the poster and find out. <laughs> but yeah, it's been pretty good here really enjoyed it all right so that's it that's my uh, afternoon here at the uh, Digcot railway center and regarding for prices and stuff I don't actually know I'm gonna have to check online and and it'll be all in the description at the bottom anyway the links to this place if you do want to come uh, but like I say the pricing there is no pricing um, it's all been taken off uh, on there as well and on here uh there's, there's there's nothing unless it's a i don't know free to enter I, I don't really know but i just picked up this leaflet here it just say save 10 percent when you book online but there's there's nothing there's no pricing at all i mean there's uh the opening times and things but yeah there's no pricing for it so i i, I don't actually know but uh yeah that's it um i'm going now oh how'd you get out of here the gate shut. Please shut this gate. Is this where I came in? Must be, yeah. Now the old steam train's going back. Well, yeah, there you go. That's uh, my afternoon here at Digcock Railway Centre. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. And um, if you like stuff like this, comment down below. Oh my God, that's loud. <laughs> comment down below if you want to see more stuff like this yes i do cover all kinds of attractions not just theme parks and the fun fairs but just days out and stuff like this you can come for a few hours and spend your time here looking at some old vintage trains it's all right i've enjoyed it um it's, it's mainly to, to promote the place again thank you for them for inviting me down here uh, to come and check it out and um yeah there you go um yeah it's just a really nice place to have a stroll around um if you've enjoyed this one don't forget to comment like and subscribe hit the notification bell for next time i upload another video and i'll see you in the next one bye for now